I've already got a big old handful here. You can see that right there sitting at the top. Hello, dear friends, and welcome to Tony's Reviews. Lately, it's been taking me two cycles to dry a load of towels, just a normal load of towels, and I'm assuming that my dryer vent is just full of lint. I've never properly cleaned it out in the last 13 years. I know that's probably bad. Uh, I bought this thing, it's called the Dryer Max. It's an as seen on TV item, you see it right here. It's got different attachments or different tools in this box that are supposed to help you clean out your dryer vent. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up, take a quick look at it. We're going to then use it to clean out my dryer vent. I'm gonna run a load of towels through it and see how long it takes to dry. See if we can get those dried in just one session. I hope it works. So, and also while I'm cleaning out the dryer vent, you're gonna see all the gunk that comes out of my dryer vent. So all the lint and everything else that's in there. Who knows what's, you know, who knows what we're gonna pull out of that. It's been 13 years. First thing I pull out is this big long wand here and it is got a zip tie on it right here, zip tied in a couple places. That looks kind of promising. Shove that up with the old dryer vent. And you see here's this one, it's got this little tool on the end of it. Okay, that looks very promising because I was always thinking, man, if I could get something long enough, I could shove it up in that dryer vent and pull it out. That looks like it, you know, it'd be pretty good about pulling that out. See this here, it's got this opening there and this opening there. It looks like maybe you hook that up to your vacuum cleaner and then shove that inside your dryer vent, you know, maybe suck it out. All right, this is gonna seem like a little bit of an interruption of this review. Uh, it kinda is. Oh, the original box I got had this tool in it and it was broken, see that right there? The company was nice enough to send me another one, so you can see it right here. And this is what it's supposed to look like. The original box had this broken one in it. Then they sent me a new one and it had this in it. it Must've got damaged during shipping or something. I'm not really sure. But anyway, you can see right here, it's got this head on here. And you're supposed to be able to shove this inside of a dryer vent, you know, the actual metallic tube. Mine's not that dirty and it's not really clogged with anything. So I'm not really gonna be using this. I did stick this into the dryer vent itself, into that tube, you know, the piece that goes from the dryer, the actual tube that goes from the dryer to the wall. I did stick this in there and it fit pretty nicely, but I really don't need to use this as a clean out because my dryer tube is pretty clean. You can see all the way through it and there's no you know, big chunks of anything sticking to the inside of it. So, But this does look like a good tool for somebody maybe that has let it go way, way too long. Um, I'm kind of thinking if it gets to that point, you might want to just replace the actual dryer tube, but there is this option. So you can shove that thing through and clean that. I'm more worried about the, what, you know, what's going through the wall because I have a feeling there's a lot of stuff in there right now. The tool that I was really interested in is this right here. So I'm still going to use this to clean up my dryer vent or attempt to clean up my dryer vent. And I'm also going to go ahead and use this vacuum hose that came with it because this thing does look fairly quality for what it is. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to go out there and clean it out. You're going to watch me do it. And then we're going to see if it you know, helps the dryer to be more efficient. It seems to be getting out more of the lint with the curve on it. It's a little harder to get in there, but it seemed to be pulling out a little more. So I'm gonna work on it a little bit longer. Look at all this yummy lint that I've collected, and that's for me just digging out on this thing. So, with the air blowing, with the with the dryer on itself, it seemed like it worked a little better. Don't know if that's safer or not as safe. Who knows? But uh, anyway, that's how I did it. I'm not telling you that's how you should do it at home, but you can see there that's how much lint I've gotten out of this thing. I've been digging on it for a while. So now I'm going to go inside and dig on it for a while and see if I can get some more lint out of it. So right here's the lint trap from the inside. I'm going to pull it off, and we're going to see what's in there. 
Yeesh. I've already got a big old I've already got a big old handful here. You can see that right there sitting at the top. I'm just gonna knock it loose the best I can and then plug it back up and try to blow it out. I really don't need to bore it out because it's not plugged or clogged or anything. So air's flowing through this pretty easily now. I'm gonna dump it out just to get some of the loose debris out of it, but this thing looks uh, dirty but clear. So the next thing I'm gonna be using is the sweeper attachment. It goes pretty deep, it looks like. See right there. And I'm gonna shove this in down my dryer vent down here and just see what we can get out of it. So that's what's up next. I'm also going to run this thing up the dryer vent in the rear here into the dryer and just see if I can pull out anything there too. So you see right here, my sweeper trap is cleaned out for the most part. So whatever is in this, once I turn the sweeper off is gonna be what came out of that dryer vent. It's in there pretty snug. That's a good sign. It looks like there's just a little bit of linen there and there's actually a screw in there too and I think that did come out of the dryer so I guess that's good that I got that out so anyway I'm going to go in the back of the dryer now and see if I can get lint uh, down there in the vent hole that's in the back of the dryer. I know out there I did get quite a bit of lint out of the outside vent, but as far as inside here and through the dryer, I'm not getting a whole lot out. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot in there. So I think it did okay cleaning this out for what there was in there. Wasn't a whole lot. Since I cleaned the inside of this thing out, since I hit the dryer and I hit the vent from the inside out, I'm gonna dig on this one last time from the outside, see if we can get a little more out of it before I make my final decision on what I think about this thing. So I think that's about as much lint as we're gonna get out of this dryer vent. You could bake the cookies of discontent from the heat of that dryer vent. Uh, I've uh, pushed in there, I've pulled, I went on the inside, scraped it out real good, scraped it out from the inside here, and it seems to be putting out a lot of hot air. You can see right here, I got lots of dryer lint out of the vent, and I think that's about as much as I'm going to get out. Uh, I got a big pile here, and it just kept coming out, and I got some out from the inside too. And it's blowing really, you know, pretty warm and pretty strong right now. So I think that's a good sign that this cleaned this dryer vent out pretty good. It normally takes two full sessions of this dryer being on high to dry a normal load of towels. What I'm hoping for is that I can put a load of towels in there right now that everything's cleaned out and it'll dry in one session. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the moment of truth. I'm going to open the dryer to see if these towels are dry. Uh, they seem to be quite a bit drier than they normally are after one drying session in this dryer. So anyways uh, i think that's a good thing so i think cleaning this out did do a little bit of good uh, like i said not completely dry but drier than normal they seem like not perfect but i guess it did pass that test to some degree folks like i said if you want to check one of these out there will be an amazon link in the description of this video and also one of the comments if you enjoyed this video today please hit the thumbs up if you know anybody that needs to clean out their dryer vent including yourself share this video out if you'd like to see some more of my product reviews please hit the subscribe button I want to thank you so much for tuning into Tony's reviews today, and God bless you.